Let's PSP block in the building. I've divided this part into two videos. In the first video, we'll focus on the primary shapes of the building. We'll get the right scale, the right size of each floor, and the overall dimensions, the main shape. And in the next video, we'll focus on secondary shapes, which will include the location and the size of windows, doors, and AC units. Now, it's very common that you would begin your blocking in process inside your 3D modeling software. So instead of using BSP brushes inside Unreal Engine 4, you would jump into your 3D modeling software, and in that case, it will be Maya LT or Maya, and begin there. But I have found using BSP first inside Unreal Engine 4 is far more superior, and it allows me to really get the size and dimensions of the building just right. While if I start inside my modeling software, I often have to export a test and then import it into Unreal Engine 4 to check the scale and dimensions and see how it looks from player's point of view. Now, one method is not right or wrong over the other. It all depends on a specific project and your personal preference, which method you are more comfortable with. So when it comes to architecture and hard surface environment assets, I do find the BSP blocking process first and then using that as a template inside Maya is better to get the right dimensions and the size of the environment. Let's cover some basic architecture sizes. The character inside Unreal, the mannequin that we're using, and the default character dimensions is 180 units in height. Good wall height is 300 units. And of course, this depends on the architecture type and the room size and height you're going for. But again, base dimension for an average room is 300 units. 20 units is usually good for floors and wall depth. So the 320 I have written there is when you have a wall height and then you add 20 units for the ceiling, for the floor. Step height is 15 units tall and 30 units in depth. This produces very realistic, good looking stairs. Door height is 220 units and door width is 120. Windows will vary based on the architecture type, of course. And for the building we are creating, good size is 100 units in width and 140 units in height. And when we have doubled up windows, it will be 200 units in width. Again, take all these dimensions as a starting point because they will greatly vary depending on the architecture type and style. During the blocking process, and actually throughout the entire project, including modeling, texturing, and material creation, you should always be looking at your sketches, your concept art, and your photo reference. There's probably not a single moment where I stop looking at reference. It's common to have your reference, your sketches and concept art, on a second monitor. So I won't be popping them into view all the time, but just note that during this entire project or any project, you should always refer and look at your sketches, your concept art, and your photo reference. Let's begin. I'm going to start with the front of the building with the first floor, this area right here. I'm going to go into geometry and drag the box BSP into the level. This tab used to be called BSP and has been changed to geometry just in case you're using an older version of the engine. Make sure that your grid snap is enabled and it is set to 10. I'm going to select the BSP brush, go to details panel and set depth, which is along X for me, to 20. You might have to set it along Y, depending on the orientation of the object and the scene that you're creating in. Then I'm going to set height to 300. The depth of this wall doesn't matter, what I'm trying to do is just establish the height and the size of the initial wall. For wall width, I'm going to set it to 500. And 500 doesn't seem big enough. And again, I'm focusing on this area right here. So I have to play around with the values until it looks correct. Let's bump it up to 580. And that looks a little bit better. A lot of this blocking in process, especially in the beginning, is going to be more of an art. So once you know your default dimensions, you still have to kind of play around with the values and compare it to the human reference scale in game. Now let's add 
20 more units to the height of the wall. This gives us those extra 20 for the ceiling, for the second floor. I could keep it at 300 and use it for the first floor and for the second floor and you would hardly notice. But I want to be a little bit more precise. So 300 for the wall, 20 units for the ceiling, which makes it 320 for the entire first floor. I'm pretty happy with the size of this section. So I press Shift 5 to go to Geometry Editing Mode, select the back face of the brush and just pull it back to create the depth for the building. We'll deal with the depth size later. We want to focus on the front first. So I'm going to go back to Shift 1 Place Mode and duplicate this BSP brush. Again, you can duplicate any object by holding down Alt, left click and drag to duplicate. In the details panel, I'm going to change the width to 300. And now we are focusing on this section right here. I like to work in sections to make sure that I establish correct size and scale. Instead of trying to resize and rescale the first brush we have, it's easier to judge scale by duplicating or creating a new brush and working on sections at a time. Let's change the width of this brush to 380. I'm going to move it over and snap it to our first original brush. And the size of this looks a lot better. It looks right. So the front area of the building looks good to me. This section right here. I'm happy with the proportion and the scale of it. So now I'm going to select these two brushes and duplicate them for the second floor. And I'm pressing and holding down control and then left clicking to add or remove from a selection. Now let's push these faces back to begin establishing the depth of the building. When I duplicated the brush, it reverted back to 20 units in depth. So I'm going to press Shift 5 to go into Geometry Editing Mode, select the faces, and move them back. And I'm going to be switching between Shift 1, Place Mode, and Shift 5, Geometry Editing Mode, very often. Geometry Editing Mode will allow you to resize your BSP brushes by manipulating vertices, edges, and faces. Now we're going to focus on the front angled section of the building. This area right here. I'm going to duplicate the brush, move it over, and go to top view. Here I'm going to be resizing vertices and dragging them to create that angle. As well as the width of the angled section. The one thing I want you to notice is once we establish the correct size of the initial wall of that very first section and it looks right. It feels right. And from that point, that wall is now our base standard. From that particular section, we develop the rest of the building. And all the rest of the sections match in proportion and scale to the first wall. So the width and the angle of the section, I'm still not quite happy with it. So I'm going to drag the mannequin and duplicate it and position it in front of the section. This helps me better gauge and judge proportion and size. So I think we should uh, expand this a little further so it's a little thicker. Has more width. So let's jump back to top view. And I use middle mouse click and drag to see how wide this section is. Let's make it a little wider. So shift 5 for geometry editing mode. I left mouse click and drag for marquee selection tool to select all the vertices on one side. And then move the vertices to give more width. And I think this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and jump in game. This will give you even more accurate way to test your scale, your dimension and proportion. There is no better way to judge your environment than from player's point of view in game. This is why I like using the BSP process to start with so much. Let's go back to top view and push the vertices a bit more back on one side so there's a more of an angle, more steeper corner edge. So I'm going to jump back to geometry editing mode and select just the front bottom vertices and push it back a little bit to create more of that angle in the building section. So I'm very happy with this section. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it for the second floor. Make sure to take your time and don't rush this blocking process. This is very important because you're going to be building everything on top of what you do here. So make sure that you get the correct scale, proportion and dimension. That everything feels right. Use the mannequin, duplicate it, 
and also spawn in-game and run around the environment from player's point of view. Let's continue with the side of the building towards the back. I'm going to duplicate the mannequin and position it to the side of the building. I'm also going to select the skylight and increase its intensity to 2. That way we can see more light in shadow, in indirectly lit areas. And you should see the skylight update automatically because we set it to stationary. Let's reduce the size for the side of the building just a little bit. So I jump over back to top view, go to geometry editing mode, shift 5, select the vertices and just push them in. And I am eyeballing here. I am feeling what is right and how it looks just based on the scale reference and just what I think looks correct. So because I reduced the size of one wall, I need to reduce all the rest of the walls, all the rest of the BSP to the same size. And to me, this feels good. I like the size for the side of the building. Now let's focus on working on the back. We're going to have some stairs and a bit of a back outside area, kind of a, like a, a back balcony. So I'm going to duplicate the BSP brush and move it back. Let's resize this and I'm going to use this brush to estimate the dimensions, the width I want the staircase to be. So I think about 120 units is good and I will be deleting this brush but I am using it and position where the stairs are going to be created. Let's also duplicate the BSP brush which we'll use to create the balcony. And to get a better sense of how it looks, I'm going to duplicate the mannequins and position them a little closer to the stairs and towards the back balcony. Let's select the duplicated brush, the one that's going to form the balcony. Go to geometry editing mode and create the balcony itself. Sometimes I eyeball the size of the geometry just by looking at it and when it feels right and it looks right, I go with that. But other times I have an idea, a number in mind that I want to use. So I just kind of go between these two ways for sizing my geometry. And for the balcony depth, I wanted it to have about 280, close to 300. We can now go ahead and delete the placement holder brush for the stairs. And let's go ahead and block in our stairs. Go to geometry tab and left click and drag linear stairs. Let's rotate them 90 degrees, position them into that space. And in the details panel, we're going to set step height to 15, step length to 30, and step width to 120, since we already know that value. But if you're not sure what the value for step width is, just go into top view, middle mouse click and drag to get that number. Let's go ahead and position the stairs better. Now we need to determine the number of steps to reach second floor. And this is very easy, since we know our step height is 15, and our second floor is at 320. We need 20 steps. 15 times 20 will reach 300. We can do 21 steps, but I'm going to go with 20. Let's take a look. And I think this looks good. Let's expand the balcony to match and align with the building. So I'm going to quickly go into geometry editing mode, grab the face and just drag it out. Next, we need to fill this gap next to the stairs. So I'm going to duplicate the balcony ground floor, move it over, go to top view, and modify the vertices to fit into that space. Here we go. And we're, we're getting there. We're almost done with the primary blocking stage. So I'm just kind of flying around, taking a look, making sure that everything looks good, all the proportions are correct, and it's going in the right direction. Let's go ahead and jump into the map and walk around from player's point of view, go up the stairs, kind of check out the balcony, and gauge our scale from in-game. I'm also going to do a quick test to make sure that the first floor and the second floor are both set to 320 in height, and they are. Now let's go ahead and finish up. We need to duplicate the stairs for the other side of the building, for this section right here. So we're just going to grab the existing stairs, hold down Alt, left click hold and drag to duplicate, 
Let's rotate 90 degrees and position the stairs to align with the side of the building. Then let's take this brush, go to geometry editing mode, and extend the face to align with the stairs. Let's do our final check and our final walkthrough by spawning inside the map and walking around to make sure that everything is to our standard, that the scale, dimension, the size, and the environment proportion of the building looks correct. And I'm very happy with where it's at right now. And our primary shape block end is now done. In the next video, we're going to focus on secondary shapes. And we're going to block in the positioning and size of the windows, doors, AC units, and a few other elements.